everyone welcome back to my video so today video we will learn on uh, magnetic switch okay so if uh, you are new here watching my video please uh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give the thumbs up if you like my video okay so uh, today video we will configure magnetic switch with the uh, uh, Cisco switch so uh, we have our Cisco switch as a, a main uh, call switch and then we add the magnetic switch as a access switch so we can uh, deploy our VLAN and our client can uh, connect to our magnetic switch and get the DHCP server from our uh, 40 get firewall okay so let's go to the GNS3 lab together and we will go step by step for this uh, configuration okay so uh, this is our GNS3 lab uh, actually this lab we already practiced uh, together with uh, our previous uh, video uh, just uh, uh, explain to you a little bit uh, regarding this lab uh, diagram here we have our ISP we have our Fortigate firewall, our Cisco call switch, our Windows server, and a Zabbix server to monitor our uh, firewall, our call switch, and our window. And we have a VLAN here, VLAN 10, 20, 30, VLAN 7, and VLAN 200. Okay, so all of this uh, we have configure seen our previous lab okay you can uh, uh, go back to have a look of uh, this uh, practice with uh, this uh, link you click on the link here and then you can see all our lab practice okay so uh, today with all uh, we will continue to add uh, another switch but not the cisco switch this one we try to add the microtech switch okay so uh, uh, this is our call switch uh, cisco switch again uh, we keep it like this and then we will add another switch but not cisco switch we add one more is the microtech switch to integrate with this uh, cisco call switch okay so before we start i want to uh, go to this firewall uh, to show you some of uh, our previous configuration okay okay this is our firewall and uh, we have uh, configure our vlan here all the vlan and this is our van port and we enable snmp for zabbix monitoring okay so this is uh, our firewall and i go to uh, this window client to log in and see uh, the zabbix server we log in from this client okay and uh, you will see this uh, Windows server I not yet start and the Zabbix will detect that this server is down okay so let's go to the uh, okay here my client PC client and I log into my Zabbix server okay and this is the alert that uh, Zabbix detect okay previous lab we we have monitor our cost switch our server and our forget firewall and currently this it it's so this down okay you can click on it windows server is not available okay so this is just a uh, uh, brief uh, summary for our lab practice that we have uh, go through together all this configuration now we start to add our microtech switch okay i have this model 
m y r t i c C S uh, sorry C O S uh, 328 okay here okay I want to put it here and make some connection okay this uh, I connect this port okay so I connect using Ethernet 2 why because uh, for me, I want to connect the Ethernet one to this. Uh, for me, to easy uh, manage this magnetic using uh, Winbox. Okay. Okay, so let's open up our console and we uh, try to check our magnetic login uh, first time without password. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, password admin admin. Okay, my Ethernet one, I get this IP address 100.4, get the ACP from this, this one, okay. So, uh, I open up my Winbox and I try to connect by this IP, okay. Admin, admin. Okay, so now we can connect to our magnetic router. Okay. So as you can see, we have uh, this VLAN here, and currently we have uh, two VLAN on magnetic router. VLAN 30 here. Oh, okay. Okay. VLAN 30 here and a VLAN 20 here. And this will be the trunk port. Okay. So uh, we start on the uh, Microtech. Uh, we create one bridge. Okay. Bridge 1. Apply. Okay. And then we add port. So we have uh, no Ethernet one. We don't touch. Before this, I want to go to interface uh, Ethernet two. I try to edit trunk. Okay. Okay. So we add Ethernet 2 into this uh, interface, apply, OK. And then Ethernet 3, apply, OK. And then Ethernet 4, apply, OK. So our bridge, we have uh, three uh, member. This uh, Ethernet 2, Ethernet 3, and Ethernet 4 here, okay. So after we have uh, uh, create, sorry, we have created uh, uh, our bridge, we add the port member. We go to this VLAN here. We assign VLAN to our port. Okay, so uh, now we want to have a uh, VLAN 20 okay tag okay as I uh, explained in previous uh, video tag is the trunk port okay so our trunk port is easy net to I rename like this easy to understand okay and then this will be Ethernet 3 
okay and tag port it is the access port okay for vlan 20 okay apply okay and then we want to have another vlan 30 tag port is the ethernet 2 and then our access port vlan 30 is ethernet 4 okay so now we have uh, create our VLAN on Magnetic. We go back to this port and then we uh, go back to this uh, Ethernet 3 and then we tap in the correct VLAN ID. Okay. Apply. Okay. Here the same VLAN ID 30. Apply. Okay okay so now as you can see we have uh, applied the vlan id and uh, vlan to each port the access and trunk port so we go back to our bridge here bridge number one we go back to this vlan and we enable vlan uh, configuration here okay so now done on this uh, Microtech, we uh, try to enable this one VLAN 20. Okay, so I I start this one first, and then PC one. I want to get IP. Make sure I uh, get the IP address from the HP server okay correct 20 and then we try to test with this vlan pc4 okay pc4 vlan 20 uh, we try to get the ip address from our server okay 20.4 and PC1 20.2 let's try to ping okay so we can ping now let's try to test with our VLAN 30 here VLAN 30 okay IP DHCP Okay, so now we can get IP address. So let's try to ping to VLAN 20 20.2 20 This PC, okay Okay So now done everyone we have uh, successfully configured our uh, VLAN on Magnetic Router uh, integrate with our Cisco call switch here and the the ACP server and everything is on our firewall okay so just want to add on uh, after we finish this lab uh, we will uh, configure the uh, management IP address for this Magnetic Router uh, sorry for this Magnetic Switch and then we add in uh, this Magnetic uh, Switch into our Zabbix server here okay sorry okay so later on we will add uh, uh, our Microtech induced into this uh, Subic server here. So uh, thank you very much everyone. If you have any question, please uh, comment below in my video.